can't believe we're actually on an expedition to find the homeland of my ancestors. Ever since I told Lara the story of Himiko years ago, she's been hunting for its location. I never really gave it much thought. That any of this could actually be real history. My grandmother used to tell me the story like it was a memory. Many thousands of years ago, Queen Himiko ruled the land of Yamatai. The sun rose at Himiko's command and she ruled everything its rays touched, from the mountains to the sea and beyond. But one day, Yamatai simply disappeared without a trace. Forgotten in time. Whitman is such a drama queen. I can't believe the hissy fit he threw during the filler shoot. I mean, this is his job, right? It's not like he's offering anything to the actual research part of this expedition. Once we find Yamatai and the cameras are rolling, he'll calm down. He might be a total pain in the ass, but he knows how to work a scene. I just need to do my job and keep my cool. Lara doesn't know it, but I've been shooting footage of her too. I really want to make sure she gets the credit she deserves. And besides, she looks great on film. I think she's a natural. <laughs> That's probably gonna drive Whitman out of his mind with jealousy. But by the time he finds out, we'll be enjoying the premiere in Telluride. could tilt their heads up and down to make the rigid mask express different emotions. These are fascinating. I've seen these before. Oh, they must be ritualistic. The 
This female image is particularly interesting. Looks like it was made quite recently. It's by those islanders, no doubt. Judging by the wrecks out there, they were once like us. Survivors. <laughs> Remarkable. Yes, well, let's hope we don't become murderers, too. See if you can work the other one. <sighs> the handle's missing. Together. Oh, shit. <sighs> it won't take the force. I'll have to find something sturdier to turn it with. Must be something around here we can use. Incredible. Let's see if I can fix this axe. There's something really interesting happening on this island. I don't know if I call it interesting. What do you make of the symbols? Sun pictograms? Or some primitive stick figures? Hard to say. This could be a sign of some kind of cult worship. Or it could just as easily be cultural graffiti. Solar imagery. Some kind of sign worship? <sighs> I'll continue examining this. You should find a way to repair that axe so we can get this gate open. Darling, think. Think before filing those papers. I've, I've sunk the last of my fortune into this expedition, but it's all going to come back tenfold. If, if you divorce me now, you won't see a penny of it. You've been with me since I was nothing. You know what I'm capable of achieving. I, I haven't lost my touch. I'm just at a low point right now, don't you see? I'm on to something here. Laura, you remember her, my, my young protege. She has real data to back up her theories, but she doesn't have my savvy. It's going to be my name on the Discovery and my face in front of the cameras. If this all pans out, the show will be huge. If you want to leave me then, I, I promise I won't fight you. But please, just wait on it. I, I can't have this kind of publicity muddling my image. Please. should do it. This mask was used in the traditional Japanese no theater. I think it represents a demon or oni. There's a price tag. Looks like this one is a replica.
Lara is having a crisis of confidence. So, for her sake, I'll keep up a happy face. But something about this expedition has been making me nervous. I have butterflies in my stomach. As we sail closer to the Dragon's Triangle, I'm starting to feel nauseous. And this isn't the excited kind of nerves. What the hell is wrong with me? I should be excited! This trip is going to be awesome. I just need to shake off this feeling. Maybe I can convince Lara to take a break and have a drink with me. to do it. Did it.
warn me about the wolves, Doctor. Laura, shall we give it a go then? Let's do this, Doctor. Whenever you're ready. That female figure on the gate. Given the age of the symbols, it could be the Sun Queen. Himika, are you sure you're not channeling Sam, Dr. Whitman? Well, there's no doubt. Himiko had power. Some say shamanistic, elemental. A woman wields that much power, and sooner or later it gets called witchcraft. We shouldn't discount anything, even what may seem to us irrational. We still have much to learn about the world. You sound like my father. It could be one hell of a story, Laura. Not if we don't live to tell it. Incredible. Oh, it is Himiko. But look. The bowl, the candles. 
Why is she still being worshipped? This island, it must have once been part of Yamatai. You were right, Laura. <gasps> the Lost Kingdom. It's like finding Atlantis. But this is real, Dr. Whitman. We're not standing on a myth. No, <laughs> we're standing on a gold mine. Come, quickly. Your friends are hurt. Yes, probably by them. Get back. They can't be trusted. <gasps> you still have a gun. I don't want any trouble. No. We'll come. No. But I insist that afterwards you take us to whoever's in charge. What are you doing? Be quiet. No! I'm handling this! No! No! Please! Get off! Just, just go along with them, Laura. Do, do whatever they say. Dai minha pistolet. Who are you people? What do you with us? Laura! If they give you any trouble, kill them! Don't hurt them, please! I said, silence, girl. I did it. I said, I my sister. Let go! Let go! Laura, run! No! No! Run them up! Run them up! Don't you fucking move! Kill them all! Hey, bring Don't up the prisoner! Yeah, I'm on it! Yes, we are needed to be a young dog at the port, Ruby! Anything? No one escapes. Out! Villagey! Not trust my evil Remia! I always find Тоже было
another one. She went down over there. Is she dead? I don't know. Outsider, we know you're here. There's nowhere to run. Shit, gun! Came in another tanker? Nah, looked like some kind of research ship. Should be some good stuff then. We'll find out soon. We got a crew towing it in now. Think we'll get any new recruits out of this bunch? Fuck, man, I don't know. Let them just die now. How'd you figure? Well, how long's the last batch been in the pit? I don't know. A few weeks. Yeah, and they're probably starving by now. Nothing but blood and piss for days. Come on, what do you think's gonna happen if we throw one of those new ones in there? Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, eaten alive. What's going on down there? Everything okay? <laughs> Lada, are you there? Yes. I can see smoke coming from the old ruins. Are you okay? Oh God, Roth, I'm in trouble. They're killing people. What? Who? Men. I don't know why. I had to kill some of them. I had no choice. That can't have been easy. It's scary just how easy it was. You've got to warn the others, Roth. Don't worry about them right now. You just do whatever it takes to get to me, Lana. I'll try.
Days have passed since the plane crash. For a second time, we attempted to escape by boat with disastrous results. I knew it would happen, just like the first time. The calm sea turned hostile with no explanation. The moment we made for open water, the winds picked up, followed by an impossible wave. Like a child's toy, our lifeboat was smashed violently into the rocky shore. Now, two more lie dead, and another is wounded beyond help. The others are starting to panic, and they're looking to me for a plan. I do have one, but it doesn't include them. They are weak and stupid, a liability in this place. I suggested they make another attempt to leave, but I won't join them. To do so would be suicide. This is clear to me now. The thing about nightmares is sooner or later you wake up. But there's no waking up from this place, which means I'm really here. I'm really doing these things. No, don't think about it, Lara. Not now. It won't help. I don't know what's happened to the rest of the crew. I hope they're okay. They have to be. They have to be. I don't know what the hell is going on here. All that matters is that Roth finds a way to get us home. like a smaller group escaped into the lower forest. Maybe we get a hunting party down there. No, Father Matthias went himself. Told us to stay out. What? Why? I don't know. Need another girl for the ritual. We'll know more by tonight. There's blood back down there. Vladimir's in charge. What'd you expect? He loves killing. What's Father Matthias have to say about that? Not a damn thing. The Russians have been with him forever. We trust them. So that means they can break the rules? They make the rules, brother. Just follow along. Keep your head down. I'm gonna check things out below. You need help here! Stop! Someone get around us! Move in! Hey! Hey, we got a survivor here! Why are you doing this? You got some fight, outsider.
silk fan. Could have been used by a villager or a noble, maybe. By, used by samurai to relay orders to their soldiers in battle. Pretty solid. Must be made of stained cypress. When we washed up on this rock, the rain and wind pounded us for days. We couldn't build shelter or forage for food. Christ, we couldn't even move. It was like some enormous hand was holding us down. Just as the storm was finally breaking, Father Matthias came to us. He was calm and soft-spoken. He seemed to know us, our names, where we were from. He spoke to us in our native language, and we listened. And as we listened, he told us the truth of this island. He offered us a choice, salvation or death. Some chose to defy him, and without hesitation, he killed them then and there. Father Matthias didn't seem malicious or angry, just calm and decisive. As I stood there in the sand, wet with the blood of my comrades. I knew I could never refuse him. worse than it is. Have you heard from any of the others? Nothing. Wait, what are you doing? The wolves took my food pack. The transmitter from the lifeboat's in it. If we don't get that back, we're not getting off this bloody island. Yeah, you, need, you need bandages, morphine, antiseptic. And also in the pack. Shit. Exactly. Come here. No, 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 no! 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 Oh, no! 
don't do this to me, you northern bastard. Thank God he's still alive. 